Hello aspirant this is Ranjit from Shankar IAS Academy today we'll discuss about RRB clerical assistant i'll give you some other tips right um, i hope you you all you all start prepare, preparing for uh, RRB uh, clerical because uh, the next one uh, we are expect most expected uh, notification released IBBS clerical once you are uh, keep on practicing uh, like RRB assistant definitely you can able to write IBBS clerical also so more or less uh, both paper should be uh, only the, the difficult level of question is uh, slightly different uh, because rrb clerical is very easy when i compare to ibbs clerical uh, it's not like uh, it, both is not a same paper of course some difficulties you are facing like uh, ibbs clerical only a little bit right so uh, which is not exactly equal <coughs> so ibb rrb clerical of course rrb assistant is very very easiest paper in the bank examination right okay so first one here we have uh, only two session one is reasoning another one is numerical ability so reasoning 40 questions 40 marks numerical ability 40 questions 40 marks actually the composite time it's a big uh, um, advantage because composite time is 45 minutes so that uh, you are giving like uh, 25 minutes for reasoning 20 minutes for quants or 20 minutes for reasoning 25 minutes for quants so whatever it is right Let's see scoring area, how to secure 70 plus out of 80 RRB clerical, right? So RRB clerical 70 plus out of 80. Listen guys, scoring area. So what is scoring area in numerical ability? The scoring area is numerical ability, num uh, number series, simplification, quadratic equation, data interpretation. These four area are scoring areas. So once you are very strong in this area, Definitely, you may be secure like 25 to 30 questions. 25 to 30 questions out of 40. Once you are very strong in four areas. Okay. And application sum is very, very important. So, application sum is nothing but it's a non scoring area. Actually, application sums are percentage profit and loss, then simple interest, compound interest, time and distance, time and work, ratio, average. So, these are thing uh, application sums so once you are very strong in application sums only six areas around we have a 11 to 12 chapter is there so if you are very strong in six chapter definitely you can able to get five marks in the application area so adding with five 30 plus five 35 so 35 marks out of 40 right 35 marks out of what 40 so this 35 marks it's very easy to get because once you are very strong in scoring area of course this is very easy within 10 days you are very strong in this area scoring area the rest of the 10 days the remaining 10 days so try to strong with the application area so many students they uh, they are not um, aware about application sums application sums is very very important because definitely it will be very useful in the mains examination so without application sums, we cannot survive in the mains examination. So we'll be getting, uh, the, I mean, apart from that scoring area. So this is also one of the important thing, right? So application sums, so we are at least minimum, we have to, uh, we, are, we are very strong in six chapters. Let's take a percentage profit and loss. Then if you, if you are, if you are, um, if you are not comfortable with percentage profit and loss, then you will be very strong in uh, like a time and distance, time and work, then simple interest, compound interest, or choose uh, probability, mensuration. So these are the area is also there. Choose any six, any six out of 12, choose any six, definitely you'll be getting 35 plus mark out of 40. Then reasoning, of course, uh, last time they was uh, it was very easiest question because RRB always asking easy question. So no need to worry about that. We have uh, uh, four, uh, 400 plus vacancies also there. So that definitely will be getting uh, more score, more marks. For example, let's take uh, reasoning ability, puzzle, uh, inequality, syllogism, coding, decoding, blood relation, direction sense order and ranking so these are the scoring area so here arrangement is very very important once you are very strong in arrangement okay definitely you will be securing 40 out of 40 40 out of 40 actually we are giving some priority in arrangement problem so if it is one line or two line problems 
direct first of all one line and two line problem how to choose arrangement if it is one line and two line problem definitely you are not facing any other problem in the arrangement so you can the first choice is one line two line problems the second choice is three line four line problem so once we complete the scoring area then you will go with the arrangement problem right so because the scoring area um, around five five question is given like inequality arrange i mean inequality syllogism so five five question is given so that is it, it is very easy to solve the questions but apart from that arrangement is a very important area definitely they asking easy questions so that uh, are in arrangement some we are giving some other priority one line question two line uh, i mean one line statement one line statement is not asking so that uh, two three statement is given so that if it is a two three statement is the first priority or four five statement is the second priority or uh, sometimes uh, direct arrangement circular arrangement sometimes they asking uh, only north uh, sometimes they asking only flow sums so these are the first priority if supposed to be feel like that uh, difficult like uh, year based problem or or uh, uh, square sums or triangle based problem so these are the problem if you feel like that difficult so that is the last priority right so definitely will be secure like 40 out of 40 because uh, they are asking question very very easy so at the same time arrangement you are giving a more importance so first 25 minutes you have to spend reasoning because reasoning paper was very uh, it, it will very easy so that uh, you can spend 25 minutes of time you can solve all the 40 out of 40 questions so here quantitative aptitude 20 minutes of time you can uh, um, you can get secure like 30 to 35 marks so these are the thing uh, you, you may uh, getting like 70 plus marks right so that only five marks you left off so that uh, in that five marks only in the application sums apart from that you can solve mathematics you can solve both application plus um, like scoring area reasoning all the uh, thing is the scoring area except arrangement because some students facing a problem in arrangement so that's what I say by using a priority so definitely you will be securing like 40 out of 40 right so once you are striking any other sums if you are not getting a, uh, answers in the arrangement so please uh, left uh, i mean please leave the questions then you go with the another questions so don't do that again and again don't to don't try to solve again and again because uh, that is a trapping that is a trapping area so no need to uh, worry about that in that question so once you solve that if you have uh, three minutes or two minutes in your hand so definitely you can able to write and that, that particular question also that the first question also right so that thank you we'll discuss us uh, next to rrb how to uh, i mean uh, what is the choices in the quants right and what are the question asking what is the number of question asking in each area right we'll be discuss about later thank you